Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shane and this is The Coding Zoo. So I've occasionally been asked, what keyboard and mouse do I use as a programmer? In this video, I'm gonna go over my favorite keyboard and mouse that I've been using for several years now. And believe it or not, as a programmer of about 20 plus years, about 25 years, 24 years, I'd like to tell you that the keyboard and mouse do matter. It does help to have a good keyboard and mouse. If that interests you, stick around. We're gonna jump right in. Now you might wonder why does it matter so much about what keyboard and mouse you use as a programmer? Well, it depends. It depends on how lucky you are after years of programming. I know of several very seasoned engineers that have been programming for a long time that have used some of the worst keyboards and mice around. Take a look at the Mac keyboard, for example. It's a very popular keyboard. It is so popular, but it has to be one of the worst keyboards made for a programmer long term. Now, why do I say that? Well, I'm talking about the ergonomics. You might get lucky and not have to worry about it, but do you want to take that chance? I personally, after about eight years, started having issues with my hands and my fingers. My, my fingers would actually start to lock up. I actually couldn't move them. I had to go to the doctor and get that worked on. And I actually had to wear braces for several, several months so that my fingers wouldn't do that anymore. And I had to learn how to exercise them and stretch them correctly. At that point, I started to get more serious about ergonomics. Now, most companies will have certain keyboards that are ergonomic, they're gonna pay for it, and they're gonna recommend it to you. And they're pretty good keyboards, but are they the best? I don't think so, personally. I personally spend the extra buck and buy my own keyboards. The ones that they usually recommend are the Microsoft ergonomic keyboards. It's a step in the right direction, but definitely not the best. So my keyboard choice is the Kinesis Freestyle Keyboard. Now this keyboard comes in many flavors. I have the Kinesis Gaming Freestyle RGB version with the Kinesis VIP3 tinting accessory. This is an excellent keyboard, not only from a functional perspective, but one of the most ergonomic keyboards on the market. I believe it's very important to get it with the VIP3 kit. This provides some much needed extra palm support and also tilts your hands closer to a more natural position. This keyboard is an RGB lit keyboard that's programmable with macro support. It has 100% mechanical switches with a low force tactile feel. Most important is the keyboard is split into two halves, two parts. And those two parts can be spread up to 20 inches apart. So you're no longer having to type real close. You can actually spread your hands into a more natural position. So what's a more natural position? A natural position is your arms down by your side. That's a more natural position. Now, if you put your hands on your keyboard at home, you're gonna find, well, your hands kind of get closer and closer together and your arms get closer together and they're less from being down on your side. They're not on your side as much. This is not a natural position. It's actually bad for your shoulders, your arms, and your hands. The cool thing about this keyboard is it allows you to take your hands, spread them apart, and spread your arms apart. You're no longer close together like this, but you're, you're spreading your arms and hands apart. It's a very more natural position. Now, the VIP kit has the palm wrist, so it's good for your palms. That's awesome. You get to spread the keyboard apart. So the VIP kit also comes with these little stands, these little tilt type kit stands. You can get, them, you can get different kinds. You can get some that are at this angle, and you can get some that are straight up. You can actually have your keyboard, the sides pointing straight up, which is pretty neat. I haven't got that hardcore on it, but some people do. I use the kit that's where it's slanted to a certain degree. The keyboard is slanted, it's not flat, right? Now, why is this good? Well, again, a more natural position is your hands to your, your arms to your side and your hands like this. Your hands like this is a more natural position. Your hands like this with your wrists bent and, and turned, that's not a natural position. If you spend eight hours a day programming on your keyboard, and you do that for 15, 20 years, it makes a difference. A more natural position is your hands like this. Well, my keyboard puts my hands about right there, a little bit to a tilt. So it's a little bit better, a little bit better, better than, than this. So I've been using this keyboard probably about 
I don't know, 12, 13, 14 years, a version or different versions of it. It is not a cheap keyboard at all, but it will last you a long time. And it is a very nice keyboard and your arms and hands and fingers will thank you in the long run. I'll put links to the different flavors of this keyboard below. Be sure to check it out. It's an awesome keyboard. All right, next, what kind of mouse do I use? Well, hopefully I say this correctly. I use the Evoluent Vertical Mouse. E-V-O-L-U-E-N, U-E-E-N, blah, that's a tongue twister. Evoluent, E-V-O-L-U-E-N-T, Vertical Mouse. And I use the large one right hand. The mouse is actually sized for your hand. You can get small, medium, large. I got quite a large hand. I use the large mouse, and I use the one that's made for the right hand. Now, what's cool about this mouse? Well, again, natural position for your hand is not this. This is not natural. So if you're using a regular mouse and you're doing your hand like this all day on the table, that's not natural. What's more natural position for your hand? This. This is a more natural position for your hand. Here, let me grab the mouse and show you. So this is the Evoluent, Evoluent <laughs> Vertical Mouse. And you'll notice I can hold it just like this. So my hand is straight up and down, right? So I can rest my hand on top of it. My, my hand will rest right on top of it and there's no pressure. I'm not, I'm not squeezing my hand too tight when I'm pressing on it because it's a, it's made for a large hand and it just lays there nice and comfortable and more straight up position, a more natural position. This is the USB receiver version. There's no wires to it. It has one, two, three buttons, has a little roller switch there, has a button here on the left side also. So plenty of buttons, very comfortable mouse. It is also not a cheap mouse, but again, well worth the price. I'll go ahead and put a link to that below also. There are different versions of that, different flavors. The key thing there is not necessarily that brand of mouse or this brand of keyboard, but think about those natural positions. If you can find keyboards that are split apart and you can actually tilt them, tilt them up a little bit, that provides a more natural position. You can find a mouse where your hand stays like this versus this. That's a more natural position. These are the two that I found works great for me. I've used them for several years. My company provides me ergonomic mice and keyboards, but I prefer these brands. I actually take these to work with me. I have a pair at home and a pair at work. My favorite, definitely love them. All right, so that's it for this video. I'll go ahead and put links to different flavors, different versions of this keyboard and mouse. Uh, check it out below in the description. They are definitely well worth it. They are not cheap. Well worth it though. I highly recommend it. Go check it out. I'll put the links below. Hope this video was helpful. If you can't afford this mouse and keyboard, keep in mind we're talking about the position of the keyboard, the keyboard being spread apart, and your hands being up and down versus this. And think about the mouse where your hand is up and down versus this. There's different flavors of this type of keyboard and mouse out there. Maybe you can find some cheaper. I highly recommend these brands. They have lasted me forever. All right. Hey, sorry about that. I'm rambling. I just really love this keyboard and mouse, and I think you will too. All right. So that's it for today's video. This is my favorite keyboard and mouse. I also have some favorite books. If you're interested, I'll put a video link at the end of this video to my favorite JavaScript books and my favorite computer books in general. Check those videos out. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.